Hello. I've been reading a good devotion that I would like you to listen to. Um, and I think, kids, that this will be something that you understand. So listen to the devotion for today. Sticks and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt me. I was brought up with that. This adage has been taught to children over many years to help them to understand that sometimes others will hurt, others will use hurtful words, and that we should remember they are only words, and that words really will not physically hurt me. On the other hand, one would believe that if someone did throw a stone at me, it might really hurt. Remember that when you get back to school. In today's text, we are told that stories don't have, that stones don't have to hurt. There's my eyes coming in, I misread that. We are reminded that through the grace of God, we are protected. As we hurl hurtful stones at each other, we are not living in the promise of this passage. In this case, it's different. The stone or the rock is a symbol of God's everlasting love and forgiveness of our sins. God's rock is the foundation of our faith journey that we walk upon each and every day. The rock is the refuge we are provided that protects and helps us when we are faced with indifference. God helps to guide us to make better decisions when we experience hatred and wickedness. In that moment, do we cast out another hurtful stone or put it in our pocket? and know for certain as we rub its surface that it truly is a rock of hope. This is a prayer. So let's fold our hands and bow our heads. Thank you, God, for this reminder that no matter what comes our way, God is our protector. We ask God to guide us as we turn hurtful stones into rocks of hope. Prayerfully, consider making your school a safe place when you return and love one another, taking care to take the needs of your fellow students in mind. Amen. And I ask you students to pay attention to the beginning of this, that God is our protector. As we go through these next few weeks of not being able to see one another, he's still there. So talk to him. He'll listen. He's your guide and he is your comfort. Thanks for listening.